Good morning, all. Peter Cruz speaking to you from Dubai, UAE. Market brief for September the 5th, Tuesday. In the early Asian session, gold fell to 1,934.8 due to the softer China PMI. This was the low seen on Friday in the U.S. market before closing at the 1,940 level. Now, markets are back to full swing today after the U.S. holiday yesterday. Personally, I think the U.S. dollar is running out of steam and should see the gold and currency versus the dollar starts to climb again. Now, on the economic calendar, we have the Eurozone PPI and the U.S. factory orders. Also, there are several reports from the Feds indicating that the September FOMC will likely leave interest rates unchanged. Okay, that's about all I have for you this Tuesday. Let me share my daily forecast with you right now. Right, here we are, forecast for September the 5th. Now, remember, this is only my opinion, and it doesn't constitute any form of guarantee or promises of profits, okay? Well, seeing that the dollar is running out of steam, therefore buying the euro dollar at 1.0780 would be a good buy, provided we have a stop at 1.07, okay? British pound, the same thing. Buying the British pound at 1.26 or better would be a good buy with a stop at 1.2520. The Japanese yen also selling the dollar yen at 146.70 is a very good sell dollar yen level, okay? With a stop at 147.50, okay? Crude oil, well, it's been rising slowly every day, you know? So now buying the crude at 84.50 or better is a good buy with a stop at 83, targeting $87 a barrel. The Aussie dollar, the same as the other currency, buying the Aussie at 0 0.6420 is a good buy. As for the gold, it came down a bit yesterday and a little bit this morning due to the China P PMI. So buying the gold at 1,937 or better, it's a good buy with a stop at 1,927, targeting 1,950 again. Okay, on that note, I thank you very much for your attention. And I wish you all a very pleasant, happy, and prosperous trading day. All right. Take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.